Today's fabric softeners and cleaning products offer a wide range of fragrances to leave consumers smelling good. Businesses are also getting in on the action. Verizon developed its own flowery musk, which it spritzes in some of its storefronts to set itself apart from competitors. Luxury hotels like the Ritz-Carlton diffuse their signature scent to lure and relax guests. But data suggests the growth of non-fragrance companies creating scents is causing a stink for some perfume brands. Mass-produced perfume brands have seen sales drop by half since the year 2000. While premium brands were hit hard during the 2008 recession, those brands are now enjoying the sweet smell of success, hitting a record high $5.2 billion in sales last year. If consumers are going to continue splashing out on luxury perfumes and colognes, even legendary brands may have to get more creative. So for an, ex an example of that may be, you know, Chanel No. 5, Shalimar, Joy, some of these legendary fragrances were developed by true artisans. And I think like many other industries, we have found that in doing uh, almost copies of what has succeeded in years past isn't working anymore with the consumers. Musmano says the celebrity fragrance trend has gotten stale and the marketing costs of launching a premium fragrance could easily rival some Hollywood production. A big global fragrance to launch it is easily a $50 million investment for a company. That is a big investment and you do not want a failure. Individuality is a hallmark of some of the most long-standing high-end perfume brands. It's one of the reasons Santa Maria Novella enjoys a loyal following. Nestled in Florence, Italy, monks developed the Eau de Cologne using natural, raw materials and artisanal techniques in one of the oldest pharmacies in the world. This store in Maryland is one of only a few Santa Maria Novella stores in the United States. With perfumes running between $100 and $140 a bottle, the company says consumers are buying more than perfume. In the 1500s, we created a scent for Catherine de Medici. Uh, she was 14 at the time, and she was becoming Queen of France. This scent here, it's uh, our classic Aqua de Colonia, and today it's our signature. Bergamot was like wealth and prosperity, for example, so that forms the center of this fragrance. But a lot of people aren't used to thinking of fragrances as an experience. Um, and we try to bring that to the customer as well. Whether you want to smell like royalty or like fresh laundry, it's more affordable than ever to hit the right note. Rochelle Cufo, CCTV, Chevy Chase, Maryland.